<laughs> what color is this banana? Yellow. Yellow, yellow. Brown. yellow right? Yeah. Well, minus the bruises. Yeah, yellow. The green. But what color is that banana? Yellow. Yellow. It looks yellow, right? But it's actually not yellow. That banana is actually a combination of a couple different colors, and it's actually tricking our brain into thinking that it's yellow. Well, that banana is actually fake yellow. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you why this color is real yellow, and why that banana is fake yellow. In order to do that, we need to understand what color is in general, right? <clears throat> so we'll start off with our primary colors. Our real primary colors are red, green, and blue. Now some of you might be thinking that's wrong, going back to your second grade art class where you learned the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Well, that's just one primary color model, and that's a subtractive color model, actually. And it's primarily only used in education, <laughs> painting, and art. But a more efficient subtractive color model is a CMYK model, which stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. YK stands for black, I don't know, but it does. And that model is mainly used in printing and design. If you've ever had to buy a new ink cartridge for your printer, notice it says CYMK on there. Those are the colors that it stands for. But color itself, real color, is based upon light. And light is additive, not subtractive. So our additive model uses the colors red, green, and blue. Let me explain. When you're looking at an object, what you're actually seeing is the light reflected off of it at a certain wavelength. So all light really is, is a certain wavelength that you're looking at. Our visible spectrum that we can actually see color in ranges from about 400 nanometers all the way to about 700 nanometers. Anything outside of those parameters, we cannot see with the visible eye. <clears throat> the way we're able to see those visible wavelengths is because of what's actually inside our eye. At the back of our eye, we have our retina, which contains two different types of photoresistor cells. So, which are rods and cones. Now, rods are have to deal with being able to see different light sensitivity in dark settings, as well as help with our peripheral vision. But our cones help us see different wavelengths of light. Now, surprisingly, out of the six to seven million cones we have, there are only three different types. We have one type, which is great for seeing long wavelengths, which equates to us seeing red. A different type, that allows us to see medium wavelengths, which allows us to see green, and a third type, which allows us to see short wavelengths, which allows us to see blue. Notice we don't have any receptor cones that allows us to see pink or orange or yellow. So how is it then, when we look at this banana, we see yellow? Well, what's actually happening is that the light is reflecting off of this banana at approximately 580 nanometers. So what that's doing is that it's activating our long wavelength, long wavelength receptors and our medium wavelength receptors, and both of them are sending signals to our brain telling us, all right, we're seeing this one wavelength. It's not as much as red, but it's more than green. So our brain interprets, it must be in the middle. <clears throat> it must be yellow. Now we can use that same exact principle in order to trick our brain using only the three colors that we are capable of really seeing. And that is exactly what RGB screens do. Like, this is a maximized screen, like you would see in your TV or your smartphone if it was blown up like a million times. I have outlined right there one pixel of it. So you can see that the only colors you're really seeing are red, green, and blue. But they are so tiny. In a full HG screen, there's over 2 million of these little pixels. So it's so tiny, our minds don't even notice it. And I can demonstrate that with this little device I have right here. I built this little circuit last night, or yesterday afternoon rather. It has two LEDs on it. These are called RGB LEDs, so they can only emit red, green, and blue lights. And they're all controlled by these three different switches right here. One switch controls the amount of red I put under the lights. One switch controls the amount of blue I put under the lights. And the other switch controls the amount of green I put under the lights. And then I just put these ping pong balls over them to help diffuse it all. So I'll shut the lights off right here now plug in the battery pack, uh, the 9 volt battery, and I'll show you. So if I want red, like I said, I'll just turn up the red dial. If I want green, I'll turn on the green dial. And if I want blue, I'll turn on the blue dial. 
Now cyan is a mix between green and blue. So if I have blue on now and I slowly turn up green, it's going to appear as the color cyan. If I turn that down for all magenta, that's a mixture of blue and red. So turn up red with blue, it's going to appear magenta. Now we can see, not so much with that one. If I want yellow, that's a mixture between red and green. So I'll turn down blue and turn up green and then appears yellow. Now with this, at certain angles, you'll be able to see red on one side and green on the other side. But when it's all fused together, it appears as just yellow. With these three simple colors and manipulating the amounts of color I put into them, we can make any color possible. If I turn down green a little bit, we'll be able to make orange. No, that's blue. Be able to make orange, so on and so forth. Any color possible. So you can see why when we turn down green, it went closer to red, which is where <coughs> orange lies. And then the other colors I showed, green and blue, make the cyan, right in the middle there, so on and so forth. So that is why, ladies and gentlemen, why this banana is real yellow. The light is reflecting off this banana going into our eyes at 800 or at 580 nanometers approximately. But this yellow and this yellow up here is just a combination of green and red lights mixed together. These are fake yellows. Thank you. Wow, impressive. Fun stuff. What was the time? Six minutes and 42 seconds.